Yo, what's going on? So, today we've got a review. So, we've got the T-Pub XO, our newest machine, and we've got the Babyliss, or the Babyliss FX1. So, I want to just compare these, and I just want to say, the reason I bought this trimmer... The reason I bought this trimmer is because I thought there was, there, was, there was a lot of hype, right? So there was a lot of people saying, these are good, these these are the shit, the the, the battery thing's cool, the, where is it, that thing. Um, just raving about them, basically, just saying how good they were, how good the technology, the innovation, and all that. So I thought, shit, these might be a problem, you know what I mean? We've got a new blade. These might be a problem. So I need to buy these. I need to see how they stack up to my trimmer. So here we go. And I, I don't want to really say too much about my opinion. Because people are just going to go, your opinion is biased. But I just want to show you. I'm just going to show you what they look like and the differences, etc., etc. And then we'll, you can make your own mind up. But I'm just going to tell you about everything. So I'll just put the mic here because... I need to be touching them and that. Sounds mad, so saying touching them and that, doesn't it? Right, so. This has a charging stand. This has a charging stand for the battery. So first, I'll just get the boring bit out of the way. I'll compare the charging stands. This is heavier than that. But it is bigger. But the plastic also is a little bit just a little bit harder a little bit harder a little bit thicker i won't say better quality but it, it it's definitely a thicker plastic this is quite thin this has a usb-c and the thing this just has the the normal thing now i know what you're thinking first of all you're going well why doesn't you have the usb-c on a charger thing well that's because this is lightning usb the same as you get on your macbook so, for example, and I tested this out before, if you plug the lightning into this, it doesn't work. And that's because it's not got the fast charge technology, so you need to just use the one that's in the box. If you use the normal USB with this, that wouldn't work because it needs a fast charge cable to charge it. Like an Apple or the one that comes with it. So, yeah, I just thought I'd point that out. So, yeah, th this charging stand is a little bit heavier, feels more heavy duty. This is what it is really let me just see and yeah that's but then you've still got that so you're gonna get the problem with that not you've not really got anywhere to put that if you like a charging stand right now that shite's out of the way oh where the fuck did you put this back in i quite i do like that though it's like a gun isn't it like you know like you know what i mean it's that's cool Right, so the clippers, they're around about the same size, the the, the XO's a little bit bigger actually. Um, weirdly, this is heavier than this, and this isn't light, but the weird thing about it is this feels like, this doesn't feel like it should be heavy, because it's plastic, you see, I've, I mean I think... I don't know if this is kind of metal or something. It, I'm not sure from the feel. It doesn't feel sort of metal, but not, if you know what I mean. But anyway, so without trying to... I don't know how to explain this. This doesn't feel like it should be as heavy as it is. There's no way that feels like it should be heavier than that. This feels like it should be the same weight as the troll. And, and, and what it is, is it because of the battery it comes in like there... It feels a little bit heavier towards the bottom. Just a little bit. Whereas that's balanced all the way through. So, you can just feel the difference. But, I think that depends on what you've been using. So, if you've been using other stuff that might feel one-sided heavy, you probably won't notice a difference. But, I definitely notice a difference. And, two th and the second thing, with the thumbprint. To me... Because I'm so used to using this thumbprint, 
I don't know how to really show you this so it makes sense, but this sits, if you look, the babalist sits higher up the thumbprint. Um, and it, it, I don't know, it just, and it's a bit too deep. Like it, it just doesn't feel right to me. It feels like your hand's too far down. Um, yeah, whereas this feels like that you're in the perfect position. The size... The size is good. The size is good on that, but it just doesn't feel great where your thumb is. Like, it doesn't feel like... if You've got your fingers there, right? That's where it feels like your fingers should be. But if your fingers are there, your thumb would sit like that rather than that. If you sit it like that, it feels like your hand isn't quite on the, on the grip, which, in my opinion, just makes it feel a little bit wrong. Now, if you pop the battery out, the weight feels perfect. To me, that feels balanced now. Now you've took the battery out. That's the weight it should be. And if it was that weight, I'd like the trimmer a lot more. Because that's how it feels. Now, now they feel more similar in weight. Which is weird, because this is full metal body. They're both brushless. Um, this is a four hour long battery. So I, I, I don't get it. Anyway, let's move on to the blade. What the fuck, man? Right, these have similar blades, to be honest with you. So if you have a look, the only difference in the shape of the blade, like it's pretty much the exact same blade, the only difference is the Psycho's a little bit deeper. It's a bit of a deeper tooth. I don't know what the coating is on this, but they are really, really, really similar blades. And so they should be, because they come from the same place. But the cycle's a little bit deeper tooth. The difference in the cutting blades is the cycle's is deeper, again, and a bit more twisted, but they're both the same style. Like, that's an R angle, which is on our crazy blade, the even deeper tooth. This, it, like, bevels out twice. So it's, it's a little bit different. just gives you a little bit more crunch, I'd say. This gives you a bit more crunch. Um, and I, I'm not going to say which, the, the cycle destroys it, to be honest with you, but you're going to have to try it. So the sound. Versus. And the next thing is we'll do an RPM test. I hate doing this. I actually hate this kind of shit, but we'll do it just because, you know what I mean. There you go, and... Come on, run. Come on. There you go. Finally. Right, so yeah, so 6,800 RPM, 7,200 RPM. And um, I don't know if there's anything else to say, really. Four hour runtime. I, I don't know what runtime this gives. It doesn't actually say on the box, and I can't bother going reading it again, but I'm guessing it's unlimited because you put the battery in. The idea is you switch the batteries over. So yeah, that's the difference between these two. Um, I am not as intimidated by this as I was. No, in fact, I'm I'm literally not at all. But I did get this thinking, I'd be like, oh, shit. I thought the blade was going to be a problem, and I thought the machine was going to feel and be a bit more of a problem. It's not bad. This battery thing is cool. I really like that. I'm not going to bullshit. I do like it. What the fuck? Apart from every time. I like the battery. I like how that pops out. It's like that thing on there. Have you ever seen, um, what's it called? I love you, man, where that woman keeps popping the hot dog in and out. Yeah, it's like that. I like that. But, yeah, I wish it, uh, it should have a charging stand. It should have a charging stand. Like, if you just made that a bit bigger and popped it in so it would charge the battery as well, that would be a lot cooler. But, yeah. 
so yeah the, the so the USB-C on this is the fast charge which means it'll charge in about 40 minutes this one's a standard so it's no different to your normal charge because fast charge means it's got more lines in the USB it's just more expensive so you'd never find a fast charge that goes into the base and the clipper or it'd make the clipper and the base a ridiculous amount of money to, to manufacture yeah so that's it and I hope you're satisfied with this review and I hope that you don't think that it's biased but yeah um, go copy XO if you want peace out